This is Mount Everest. Located between Nepal and Tibet, China. It is the highest mountain in the world. Despite that, it's also the most famous mountain. Mount Everest has a grim reputation and a terrible record for the most deaths on a mountain. Unlike what you think, many have attempted to make the summit, though few succeeded. Although in recent years, things have changed. There are thought to be over 300 bodies left on Mount Everest today. No one is sure how many or exactly where many are. Removing bodies near the summit is simply too hard. Bringing back a body requires coordination from a team with very good conditions and can cost up to 50,000 US dollars. As of summer 2021, there have been over 5,800 individual summits. This means that for every 20 people that have summited, one person has died. There are quite a few dead bodies in various places along the normal Everest routes. Some have been there for years. Some appear only after weather changes and snow deposits move. In the past few years, because of rising temperatures in the area, many older dead bodies have started to reappear. The area with more bodies is above 8,000 meters and is called the death zone. Sherpas and climbers said that they saw many dead bodies near the summit during their climbs. One of them had hair that was still blowing in the wind. In other circumstances, they recall hundreds of people climbing over the dead body of a recently deceased climber. The strangest and most famous cases have occurred from the first ascent until today. As one of the first few to take part in the original British attempt to summit Everest, George Mallory and his death have become legendary. On June 8, 1924, Mallory was on his first attempt along with Andrew Irvine. The two were the last of a group who had attempted to reach high base camps for an eventual summit. It is unknown exactly what happened, though it is possible that the pair reached the summit. The last sighting of them alive was at roughly 300 meters from the summit, around 8,600 meters. In 1999, famous mountaineer Conrad Anker found Hillary's body at around 8,230 meters, just down from the first step, without Irvine. Based on a fractured leg bone, it seemed like he'd taken a fall or slide and become unable to self-rescue. You can watch the full story on this channel. In 1979, Hannelore and her husband Gerhard, both very experienced mountaineers, traveled to Everest to attempt the summit. Hannelore's group went second, though Gerhard had warned them off after seeing the terrible weather conditions. The group with Hannelore did reach the summit, but got into trouble coming back down. Hannelore and another climber, Ray Gannett, were exhausted and wanted to stop to make a shelter. Despite the Sherpa's warnings that this could be fatal, they did make a small bivouac. Hannelore succumbed to exhaustion and she died on the upper slopes. Her body remained on Everest for years, propped up on her backpack. It served as a very grim reminder of what could go wrong. For a long time, her hair would still blow in the wind. Some climbers mistook her clothing for a tent and would approach, only seeing the reality at the last minute. Over the years, the wind and exposure stripped the body to the school. In 1984, two members of a Nepalese police expedition died while attempting to retrieve the body. You can find the full story on this channel. In 1998, Arsentiev set out to become the first American woman to summit Mount Everest without bottled oxygen. She achieved the incredible feat along with her husband Sergei. On their night descent towards Camp 6, Sergei had lost sight of Francis. A team from Uzbekistan were attempting a summit and found Francis, still alive but suffering frostbite only a few hundred meters from the summit. They attached a rope to her and tried pulling her down the slope, but had to abandon her to save themselves and go down, abandoning their attempt. On their way back, they saw Sergei going up to find her. 
Her body remained high on the mountain and well preserved. The name Sleeping Beauty was given after Ian Woodall's description of what she had looked like. Sergei disappeared and wasn't seen after the Uzbek team saw him going up. You can find the full story on this channel. One of the most shocking and well-known images from Mount Everest is of a body that was nicknamed Green Boots. You can see the video about his story on this channel. The cave where he died was also where American climber David Sharp would perish. In 2006, Sharp was on a solo trek with other group, Sherpa or Radio. It is believed he had descended after a possibly successful summit and while coming down took shelter in the cave near the body of Green Boots. You can see the video about his story on this channel. These are just a few examples of grisly stories from Everest. A mountain that seems simple to climb but actually collects many pitfalls. Today, Everest is the most climbed and famous 8,000 meter peak. People who want to reach the summit and return home safely must never underestimate this immense mountain. <laughs>